Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News, and I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be our Brooklyn Nets NBA team preview. The Brooklyn Nets are by far one of the best teams in the East, if not the best team in the East coming into this year, whether you view that as the Milwaukee Bucks, the Brooklyn Nets, or the Boston Celtics are probably the three teams uh, most people are between. For me, coming into the season, just because of how deep uh, their benches with uh, Levert coming off of the bench. Uh, they got Jeff Green, who just brings all that good winning experience. Landry Shamet, who was a starter for the Clippers, is now coming off of the bench for them when you, of course, now have a healthy, um, fully healthy Kyrie Irving, which first game, all things look good. I know it's the first game with Kevin Durant, who came back, and uh, like they said uh, on TNT, what Achilles, because he looked like he wasn't affected at all um this team just put it together very well joe harris of course also on their bench deandre jordan a very good rim blocking center uh jared Allen, a very solid developing center so they just know how to get it done and have depth at pretty much every position on the floor that is why if you ask me the brooklyn nets are the team to beat in the east because there is no position you look to that they don't have depth um, and that that is a very, very great thing to have. Spencer Dinwiddie is one of the best either starting or backup, uh, one of the best backup guards in the league and an above average starting guard when he does start. That's the way that I should put it um, because the dude just is a baller. He gets it done, especially against the uh, Sixers, unfortunately for our Sixers fans, but uh, he continues to get it done. Uh, Bruce Brown's in his third season. Maybe he can start doing more. They, of course, got Tyler Johnson, uh, who they brought over from the Heat a bit ago. So I just think this team is one of the teams that has it the most together. And in a 72-game season where, um, doing the math, um, 72, hold on. That would be 36 games. I suck at math, so I figured I would just look at that real quick. Um, they're definitely, obviously, going to get well over that mark. Uh, they're going to be a team that I think is in the high 40s at best, um, 50 even. Um, but that, that would be then if they're one of the premier teams in the full league and they would probably have the most wins in the league and only then, obviously, have 22 losses. I think uh, realistically, this Brooklyn Nets team is more at the 46 to 48, 49 win total, um, where that is a team that is going to be at the top of the league right there with the Lakers, who I think are also at that win total that I'll get into more when I do that video. But I believe the Brooklyn Nets, in my opinion, are going to be the team to beat in the East, and they're going to get a time to take advantage of the Celtics not having a guy like Kemba Walker, and if they can get out to a great stretch and they can really pull in front of the Bucks a little bit too by having a great, say, first 10 to 15 games of the season, then they're going to be playing with money then at that point, and they're going to be continuing to go hot and strong because I can't see, unless if they have any injuries, God forbid, for them, why they would slow down if they do get off to a very good starting stretch run, which I believe they are capable of doing. So this has been the NBA team preview. Brooklyn Nets look ahead. I believe they are at least a 46-win team and could even get up to 50 wins, which would then put them at the probably the premier team uh, in the league right there with the Lakers up there and potentially a team like the Clippers as well at the end of the season. Have a great, safe, and de pleasant day, everyone, and a blessed, happy holidays. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Peace out.